Grade 7 Math number 8.1b, Area and Scale Drawings. As we discussed in the last video, a scale drawing is a proportional two-dimensional drawing of an object. A scale is a ratio between two sets of measurements. It compares the scale drawing of an object to its actual size. And a scale is written as a ratio. It's separated by a colon, the dot over the dot. Like 1 and then a colon and a 4, which is read as 1 to 4. That's the ratio. 1 inch to 4 inches. 1 inch would represent 4 inches in the drawing. 1 centimeter to 1 meter. 1 centimeter could represent 1 meter in the drawing. Scale drawings and scale models are used in cartography, that's map making, mechanical engineering, construction, dress designing, and many other trades. We can make a drawing to scale by using the actual measures of length and width of an object and choosing the scale we want to use. Sometimes the scale is determined by the size of the paper we use. So, here's a piece of paper, and each square is one centimeter squared. It's a centimeter down and a centimeter across, okay? Every single square. So we have a rectangle A here, and it's nine squares this way, or nine centimeters, and it's five squares this way, or five centimeters. And the scale is one to three. So, because it doesn't say one what to three what, we figure that it's centimeters, okay? So the scale is one to three, what would it be in actual size according to the three? So we have a one to three scale of rectangle A right here, and it's five centimeters by nine centimeters. So since our scale is one to three, we write it as a numerator and denominator and we multiply the five by both, and we get 5 is 15 centimeters, 5 over 15. That's a 1 to 3. Isn't that a 1 to 3 ratio right there? 5 fifteenths is 1 third, isn't it? See? And the 1 to 3 ratio for the 9 would be 9 over 27. That's 1 third, isn't it? See? So that means it would be 15 centimeters by 27 centimeters, and if we wanted to find the area, we would just multiply the 15 by 27, and we get 405 centimeters squared. So it's really important to put that little 2 up there as the exponent because each of these are squared, see? In rectangle B, it's 7 square centimeters this way and 12 square centimeters this way, and the ratio is 1 to 4. So we could multiply the 7 by the 1 to 4, and the 12 by the 1 to 4, and we'd get 7 over 28, that's 1 fourth, and we'd get 12 over 48, that's 1 fourth. So we have 28 over 48, and if we wanted to find the actual area of this rectangle, we just multiply the 28 by the 48, and we get 1,344 centimeters squared. 